Hello YouTube, so today uh, I wanted to talk about physical editions uh, that are being released from special websites or companies like Limited Run, Special Reserve Games, uh, Super Rare Games, what else? Um, there's several of them, you know, there's, the most popular one is Limited Run Games. As you know, uh, they release physical editions of games that were, I guess, meant to be only digital at the beginning. But I've been seeing more and more of these companies release so many games and I wanted to talk about my experiences, what I think about them, and why I'm not enjoying their practices as a whole right now. So I noticed that recently there have been more and more physical versions of smaller indie games being released as like a regular retail release. Uh, you can get them usually at Best Buy and places like that that sell, you know, games. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, releasing these games physically, of course, but it's kind of weird that all these companies that release physical games of indie games or whatever that's only available digitally at the beginning, they make it sound like they these games won't you know, be released physically in the future or make it sound like they're very limited because they always say, oh, they're only making a thousand copies, physical copies of these, uh, or they're making a limited edition that's more limited with some goodies, you know, different uh, cover art, like cards, trading cards that you can get only if you pre-order them from those companies, etc, etc. So I don't think there's, um, something wrong with that but like I said I wish that they would announce I mean I know they are not going to do it because that's how the company makes money but I wish that there was a way we could know if a physical version of a certain game that's currently not physical will become available at retail because I feel like you know these companies are for collectors like a regular person who just wants to play video games these people are not going to go onto these sites and pre-order games because they can probably get them for much cheaper uh, online uh, from Game Pass for free, you know. So it's not catered towards those type of people. So they're trying to sell to collectors. So I feel like they're trying to, you know, take advantage of the fact that these people do not want to miss out, I guess, FOMO. <laughs> um, and it's okay if at the end they release it a lot sooner, I guess, um, because you're all pre-ordering it and um, I don't think you can ask for a refund either, I'm not sure, I've never tried. And also, I guess it would be fine if it costs the same and the full price is usually like $29.99, $34.99 and you know, if you get it from Best Buy or any other place retail, they usually cost the same but the issue is with their shipping. Um, I don't know why all these places, of course I'm in the US, so if the company is located outside of uh, this area, I understand that it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but I see lots of company that's I think supposed to be US based, I think Limited Run is US based, and they charge, I feel like they charge a lot more, you know, uh, for shipping instead of offering, I don't know, at least free shipping if you buy a bunch of games or if you spend over some uh, amount of money, they should give you free shipping or something. Also, I don't like the fact that they charge you for like tracking, protection stuff, I don't know, like an insurance in, in case your package gets damaged. And it's kind of weird because it's automatically selected when you check out and one time I didn't realize it when they implemented this and I ended up pay paying like four bucks extra just for that by mistake so I, I don't like that at all I mean if they're shipping it to you they should still I mean deal with it if it gets damaged because of how badly packed they are not you know you shouldn't have to pay extra to get it shipped correctly so I don't like that and like I said, I think it would be okay if you get the item sooner than the retail release, but sometimes it feels like they're coming out almost at the same time, or um, the retail version gets announced before you get the physical version that you pre-order from these sites. So it feels bad, you know? I mean, 
if I was, well, I were to pre-order a game from those sites, and I see that it's already available retail later, and I still haven't got my copy that I pre-ordered, I mean, it wouldn't make me feel very good about it, you know, and I would think twice about pre-ordering these games anymore. So, I feel like maybe <laughs> um, they're just trying to make money out of, you know, all the craze with the collectors, uh, gaming collectors, there are so many people collecting video games now, physical games, and I feel like they were doing okay when they were doing Vita and stuff, but now that they're releasing so many games on so many different consoles, I, I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. I feel like people who had the Vita and they were genuinely interested in collecting these games, I feel like that was the best way to do it because they, we didn't have, you know, when I was playing the Vita, there wasn't that many physical copies of different games for Vita because it wasn't popular. It made sense that they would make, you know, something like this so that more people can have the physical editions of these digital games. But now, I feel like they're releasing all these games that are also already available in Asia physically that you can probably play in English and they're releasing it maybe maybe knowing I don't know if they don't know or they don't have this information but if they did it would be bad <laughs> uh, they're releasing these games that always uh, also gets a retail release later so it's like a gamble you know you might spend a little bit more, but maybe you won't get a physical version later if you don't pre-order it. So, you know, you might miss out and you might want to pre-order it because you want to collect everything. Or you can take the risk, not pre-order it, and wait for like a retail release, which happened with, um, I think, Death Door. I think that game was available to pre-order on Special Reserve Games and it came out physically retail I think at Best Buy or something so yeah there are several cases like that so I don't like it at all um, I feel like it's very greedy of them <laughs> to keep doing that but I don't know how the business works I don't know what information they have when they decide to make a physical copy a physical run of the game so I can't you know say for certain that they're trying to rip you off or take your money or whatever at least it's not like they're charging a lot more for the games they're charging about the same as retail it's just that you know you're probably paying more for shipping because you can't do store pickup and they don't have free shipping so let me know what you guys think have you been collecting limited run games or any of the other companies physical special edition games uh the or did you stop doing them ever since you know they started releasing more and more that's what happened with me i used to buy several I, I did buy several from Limited Run and other companies and there are things that, you know, I'm happy that I got like Carol Blaster, those copies were, uh, I got it for Switch but that copy was super expensive, it cost like 50 bucks for a simple game like that so it made me think twice but it hasn't gotten a physical release, a retail release so I feel like it was worth it but if I paid 50 bucks for that game and if it got a regular retail release, I, I'd be kind of pissed off unless, you know, it cost the same. But I don't think it would have cost the same. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.